welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I prep my nails and make press on nails last me about two weeks. I used to be skeptical, but I'm telling you, modern press on nails have come a very long way, and there are certain tips and tricks to make them last a bit longer. So before I even open the pack of the press on nails, I prep my natural nails. After I take off a pair, I let my nails breathe for a few days, but you'll notice there is still some like dried on glue. So I'm first going to take a buffer and just really smooth out that surface. I'm just going to buff them until you don't feel any of the glue residue left on the nail and you're going to repeat that for all of your nails next i'm going to go ahead and just trim my nails down i've always had brittle nails doesn't matter if i take vitamins adjust my diet my nails at a certain point just break off so i never really grow them out so i'm going to go ahead and just cut them down so they're nice and even and again, repeat that on all the nails. And this is up to you if you want to cut your nails or not. Once they are trimmed down to my liking, I'm then just going to take a nail file and just lightly file along the edges. Just in case I have any like jagged edges. Because they will be concealed by the press on nail. So I'm not too focused on having them be like a perfect shape. Once I have everything filed down, I like to go in with the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover and I'll just apply a very thin layer on the cuticles of my nails and let it sit for about a minute. Once I let it sit, I'm then going to go in with a cuticle pusher, push them back. But this product, I really like this. It lasts forever. You wouldn't think because it's such a small um, container. But it really does last a long time. And it does a good job at softening the cuticles. That way they're a lot easier to remove with the cuticle cutter. Now that some time has passed, I'll go in with my cuticle pusher. And just gently start pushing back the cuticles. And that product from Sally Hansen really does majority of the work for you. You notice a lot of the dead skin and residue around your nails will just come off with the cuticle pusher. And you're going to go ahead and just repeat that on both hands. Once I've gone ahead and pushed back all the cuticle, I'm just going to take a cotton round and wipe off the product. Once they are all wiped up, I'm just going to go ahead and with my cuticle cutter and just gently cut any of those lifted cuticles around the nail bed. And again, you're just going to repeat the same process with all of your nails. Before we actually get into even opening the nails, a vital step is going to be go wash your hands. Some soap and water, wash them off because you don't want to have any oils, lotions, any sort of emollient or oily residue on your nails. That is going to be one of the key factors so that the nails can have some longevity. After you've gone ahead and washed your nails or your hands, I would recommend you go in with a cotton round and some acetone just in case you have any residue nail polish or nail glue on there and follow that with some rubbing alcohol and let the rubbing alcohol completely dry before you start putting on the nails. Alright so now let's get into the nails. I actually asked people on my TikTok and Instagram which style I could go for. I was debating between these or some like French tip um, mint ones. These nails were sent to me by Salon Perfect, but I really do like their nails. No obligation to film. What I really like about the nail sets 
they bring the 30 oh my goodness an ant sorry about that <laughs> they bring 30 nails so i have pretty big fingers i wear like size 11 rings for, for reference so it's hard to find press on nails that fit me these always fit me perfectly it comes with a nail file nail glue their nail glue is super good i will say that as well um and yeah some i know come with like a wood um cuticle pusher but i've already done the cuticle so it's fine but if not you might want to be mindful if you were looking to purchase these all right so what i first do is try to find the appropriate size those look pretty good let me see what number this is that's a zero so let me see the one and compare which one will be the better size and see with the one there's some gapping there so we're not going to go with that one zero is a much better fit for my thumb and essentially, you're just going to repeat that process with all the nails. Kind of just try to find the nail that best fits your nail bed. If they are a little bit too big, you can always file the edges once they're glued on. Um, but yeah. And the nails have little numbers. So once I found that zero fits my thumb, I'll just find the other zero. And I have that for that so you don't have to match all 10 fingers unless your fingers are drastically different sizes all right so i've gone ahead and sifted through the nails and got the nails that fit my nails the best another key thing i do to make sure that they last you're actually going to take a file it could be a file that comes with the nails or a file you have and you're going to want to create texture on the nail so I go ahead and buff or file them side to side, creating some texture. What this is going to do is when you have that glue there, it's really going to allow it to adhere. So it's not just like two smooth surfaces up against each other. And you can also like drill the back of the nail if you want. I don't find that to be necessary, but that would also help the nails to adhere a bit better. All right, once you have them all filed and you've created some texture, we're going to start applying the nails. Um, I would suggest start with your pinkies first. That way you can use your thumbs to really press them down. So I'm going to apply a dot of nail glue in the center of my nail and another dot in the center of the press on nail. Then when I go to apply it, I'm going to apply at a 45 degree angle and then press down so that there aren't any bubbling in the glue. Then I like to hold them for about 15 to 20 seconds. And you always want to make sure like you look at it to make sure they're straight. One nail down, nine to go. I used to be an avid acrylic nail kind of girl, but I noticed how thin they would make my nails, so stopped on that. Then for a while, I was doing gel polish. It was fine, but then like COVID hit, and I was like, what am I going to do for my nails now? So I bought like the Gel X kit. I bought all these like UV lamps to do gel nails. And while I do like it from time to time, it's just too time consuming. And I have a three year old who is very nosy. So constantly grabbing stuff, smearing nail polish. It's a lot. So that is how I discovered false or press on nails. And I don't think I can ever go back to anything else it's super affordable like salon perfect i think they're like less than ten dollars um yeah i think i am a press on nail convert for life unless something better comes along and i i understand nail techs have to charge their worth 
but I cannot afford those nail prices so I was forced to learn how to do my own nails so I do my own pedicures and I apply some press on nails now I prefer to gel X because I do like the gel X system sometimes but like I'm not a professional nail artist so painting my own nails is a hassle these come in like so many cute designs different shapes and what I really love say one of them does pop off it's not the end of the world you can literally throw that little glue in your bag and press it right back on because I remember breaking acrylics like that was like the end of the world <laughs> call the nail salon right now I need this fixed immediately but with this one pops off it's whatever pull out my glue glue it right back on all right, and in less than 20 minutes, you have a new cute set of nails that will last you one to two weeks, depending how long you want them. You can always, like I said, re-glue any nails that fall off. I will suggest once you've glued them on, wait about 30 minutes to an hour before you apply any lotions, wash your hands, just to ensure that the glue has fully dried and everything is sealed in. But yeah, that is how I apply my press-on nails. Let me know what is your preferred nail style. Do you still like going to the nail salon, getting pampered, getting your nails done? Have you started doing your own nails? Are you into press-on nails? Like, let me know what you guys are liking. But I love these press-on nails. Also, a little tip, if you say you're tired of them and you want to take them off, just soak your hands in like soapy warm water it may take a bit but they eventually will become loose and you can just peel them right off without damaging your natural nail um i hope this video was helpful <laughs> it's a little awkward to film this way and sorry if the light went out here and there my camera was overheating but um yeah till next time thanks again for anyone's watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Take care.